Children who have role models of a healthy authority will become enforcers of goodness and rightness because that is what they believe in. So we want our children to be inwardly driven by their own sense of morals so that they can be in the world and enforce what they believe is right and wrong. This picture shows various levels of physical separation that children face in our culture. First, there is unity with the mother. Second, there is moderate there is the moderate form of separation a child experiences from being physically disconnected from an aloof mother. Finally, the child is confined alone in a child prison called a playpen. Physical separation is a necessary condition when creating the illusion of outer authority. Confinement of our spirits and souls starts at an early age through confinement of our bodies. Attendance in school separates children from their parents. Placing children in school facil facilitates mothers going to work. Having mothers work inhibits communities. If mothers were not working, then they could easily form their own schools with other mothers, thus creating community. In school, the child still longs for a loving and nurturing space where he feels loved and accepted, even if he does not have it at home. School, in a majority of cases, is a reflection of a distorted mother energy. Rather than nurturing, schools attack and destroy our children's innocence. Rather than loving, schools punish and inhibit children. Rather than teaching community, bonding, conflict resolution, and communications, school teaches useless facts. Many years of school may have only a few meaningful moments of knowledge growth. The purpose of school is to isolate the child from the mother, and it enforces the prison-like idea of society. Life is about being separate, alone, and even punished. Because traditional schools represent the opposite of what mothers stand for, and because their purpose allows children to be separated from their families and communities, I conclude that the purpose of school is to enforce a separated, painful way of existence. Unfortunately, when you leave your child at schools, they are subjugated to a variety of negative forces. This includes the government, and private corporations who sell children drugs called soft drinks and poison called candy bars right on your public school property. Is our school system really for the people or is it for corporations? How can we say we live in a free society when school is not voluntary? Look at the laws. It is the law that your child must attend school. If your child is not in school, the government has the ability to force your child to attend. Our laws clearly spell out our false and misguided authority. Legislators who pass these laws have assumed that parents won't know what's best for their children, and so the state invades our personal privacy and tells us what to do. Once children are attending public schools, parents lose their legal right to control or have input in what the children are taught. This sounds like a terrible dis dictatorship and not a free country that a court can decide that parents cannot guide their child's education is a real violation of our parental rights, yet this is the law of the land. For now, there is a legal solution to the system of imposed social order, home schooling, or starting your own charter school. There are also many, many alternative schools that are much better than public schools such as a Waldorf or Montessori school. If you don't have a lot of money, you might not be able to afford these, although some have tuition programs, and your child will be subjugated in a public school for lack of a better alternative. In Germany, it is illegal to homeschool. The laws claim that the state has a compelling interest to educate children in a manner that it wants them to be educated. What are these children taught in Germany? How did schools come to supplant the tr transmission of knowledge as it originally occurred from parent to child? This is a scary system that appears to be an attempt to control the way people think through indoctrination. I only mention the example of Germany to shed light on one of the real intentions of public school. We are lost in a maze. We, we exist in a state of darkness, and we cannot find our way out. To whom shall we turn? You must see and feel your oneness with the divine laws of nature and your own inner authority. Authority comes from being present from knowing truth in your being, through accepting and abiding in who you really are. Knowing yourself, in other words, your thoughts, feelings, intentions, makes it possible to know 
truth from distorted knowledge, from right from wrong. Listen inside, honor your feelings, trust your gut, and take responsibility for your own life. After a lifetime of self-confinement from playpen to classroom to life, we learn to enjoy, embrace, and even pay lots of money to have a fancy confinement system, a house. We make our confinement comfortable with large couches and lots of food. We stare at the outer authority who tells us how life is on the television or who entertains us away from our own life, from our own feelings in our bodies. The image here on the screen is based on a scene from The Matrix where the hero chooses to, chooses to take the red pill of truth and knowledge of the world rather than the blue pill of numbness and ignorance. We choose to remain in our prisons. We choose to be isolated from life, isolated from fellow humans, and isolated from the inner knowing that we are one with all that is. We are taught this is the way to live as children in public school. We cater ourselves in our living rooms we stare at the television, the news broadcaster, the nice-looking, well-groomed authority who tells us about life. Or we receive subtle and avert cues and product placements in commercials and television drama shows. We volunteer ourselves to be controlled and told what to do. We volunteer ourselves to be subjugated. We choose to support ignorant and life-destructive ways because it is what the authority says is right. We allow our minds to be poisoned, such as with pharmaceuticals and food additives, and manipulated by those authoritative institutions in our culture. Unplug from your television. Unplug yourself from the media and plug into your own core. Through this, you will begin to re reclaim your authority and your right for health and healing. Rigid social structures are not built on the foundations of goodness and peace, and therefore are meant to crumble. Misaligned structures in our society, such as public schools, which seem so impenetrable and vast, must crumble because they careen out of balance. Although this disillusionment can be painful and even disastrous, in the wake of these ashes, a new force will rise.